let's take a look at the greatest common factor for 21 and 28. That's the GCF. So the greatest common factor, sometimes you'll see that called the greatest common divisor or highest common factor. These are all the same thing. So for the GCF, what we're going to do, we'll line all the factors for 21 and 28, look at the common ones, and then just choose the greatest factor. That's the GCF. So for 21, 1 times 21, that equals 21, and 3 times 7, those are the factors for 21. For 28, 1 times 28, 2 times 14, and then 4 times 7, that equals 28. Those are the factors for 28. So we want to find the greatest common factor. We have our factors. Let's look at the just common factors between 21 and 28. 1 goes into 21 and 28 evenly. 3, no. How about 7? Yeah, 7 goes into both 21 and 28. So that's a common factor. And it looks like that's the greatest common factor. So in answer to our question, the GCF for 21 and 28, that's going to be 7. There are other ways to do this, like prime factorization. But unless you have big numbers, this is usually pretty quick. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.